Thank you so much for the call and the information, sir. Be safe out there. Uh, Jim in Missouri, police or military, Jim? Yes, uh, Alex, if you can hear me, my name is Jim from St. Louis. I'm a police officer. Um, I have a pretty unique voice, so I'm trying to hide it, so I hope I'm coming in clear. Um, I, I saw the KSDK footage, but I have some more news to tell you. We have been told um, that in October, um, we need to be prepared for an event. I don't know much, but I just know it's supposed to be an event that will require us to use air and ground support in conjunction with the local military here. We've been practicing um, pretty much safeguarding uh, pretty more affluent areas in St. Louis, Missouri. You sound, uh, let me stop you, I'm gonna hold you over. You sound pretty freaked out, sir. Um, Alex, I've been a listener for yours for a while, but uh, it's basically been coming down the pike pretty rapidly the last couple months, and uh, basically, I can't really say too much. Like I said, I think I think, it, I think they'll hear my voice. I have a very unique voice, but uh, I uh, the military has basically been running drills with us, Alex, for about a month and a half now, and I think uh, I think uh, I don't know what's going to be the event in October, Alex, but. They asked me to confiscate guns. I don't know what's going to happen because a lot of people in my, in my department, they're asleep, Alex. They still, they hate Obama. They, they, they're still in the left-right paradigm. And uh, it, it's scary, Alex. That I, Do they have any idea how dangerous it's going to be to try to take guns? Alex, I know. Trust me, this is Missouri. And there's some good old boys up here. But these good old boys are, you know, they think Obama's a Muslim terrorist. And they don't understand people are bought and paid for. I try to explain it to people when I do even... Regular, uh, well, well, let me not interrupt you. Just, just uh, go back to what you just said. You said they're being told in October, be prepared to use air and ground army forces against the American people. And when they say air air support, I don't understand what that means. I don't know if that means they're going to just openly have drones flying or what, but I don't know what kind of support. No, 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 that's it. That's why the Secretary of the Army is in the news saying airstrikes. I can't believe that Channel 5 is actually putting this on. Can you please upload that video on YouTube or Infowars.com so we can see this? Well, listen, here's the deal, sir. Here's the problem. They, they, they take it down whenever we post it. Normally, they would leave something like that up. They don't want this being seen. This, this wasn't supposed to get on the news. Did you see how freaked out the Army commander was? Even Alex, to you don't have to explain it to me. I, I know, but real quick, Alex. Uh, I'll just hold, I'll hold up. No, stay there. Don't, don't, don't get, I understand you're trying to disguise your voice, but it's all right. This is America. We're allowed to say we don't want the army attacking us. Listen, we could back this off if we get the news out about it ahead of time. Imagine if they were planning a false flag in Missouri. Now they're not going to be able to do that now because of us talking about this. Uh, uh, tell folks specifically what they've got you training with the military with these hundreds of large armored vehicles for. Well, like I said, I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, Alex, and um, I'm trying to be quick. Uh, all, all we've been told um, through whispers, basically, in the, you know, in the locker room is that in October, and it's pretty much locked in, I don't know if there's going to be another debate here in St. Louis like there was four years ago or what, but um, it's pretty much locked in that we're going to be basically the guards of the more, more affluent neighborhoods here in St. Louis. Um, a lot of the lawyers and doctors and professors seem to, you know, live in certain parts of St. Louis and the surrounding counties, and we've been basically patrolling and practicing um, all of the entries into certain neighborhoods to protect against militias, and that word has been used. Hold on, Alex, that, that word has been used, and um, there has been something said about um, well, I don't want to say too much more, but basically, how I... No, go ahead. You're trained... Listen, the, the criminal globalist collaborators live in certain areas. And yes, this is the plan, to go into a fortress mode when the globalists try to start World War III and then go after domestic groups. When the globalists start the civil war and start trying to arrest people, then folks are going to be forced to fight, and they're not just going to wait in their houses. And they're not going to just go out and go after police and military. They're going to try to go after the people that run this because yeah, yeah. they're smart. Oh, that's what you're being told? Yeah, that's basically it. And Alex, it's pretty. I mean, it's pretty much wide open here in St. Louis. But I haven't, I haven't been involved in any drills with actual tanks. So that's why I asked you earlier if you could upload that video. But real quick before I, you let me go, I know you got other callers. Um, people, Alex Jones is real. All right. I know a lot of people out there on the internet are saying he's a shill, but he's real. You can go to YouTube right now, type in Classic Alex Jones 2000, 
and you'll see video clips of this man from the 90s when he was in his early 20s speaking against the new world order. And, and America, this country's dead, Alex, it's gone. Oh, Larry, he hung up. Listen, it doesn't mean it's going to happen, okay? It doesn't mean it's going to happen, but yes, the professors and people are actually the technicians that come up with all this. You go to a CFR meeting or any of it, you watch it on C-SPAN, they're the ones coming up with all the plans. And you've got the bankers and others, and you've got the elite in every city who you know to stay in one area. And there's other rich areas, but they always stay in one little area. That's because they run the COG plan for their area, and they plan on having the police protect them while they've got the police and military out trying to arrest us because they know the checkmate move. They know they're fighting a bunch of veterans. They know they're fighting former intelligence people. They know they're fighting people that understand how to resist an authoritarian, globalist, basically communist takeover. Okay, 